What is water? Water is a substance which composed of hydrogen and oxygen. It is colorless, tasteless, and odorless. 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water. This includes oceans, rivers, lakes, falls, and swamps. Some water are frozen in glaciers and ice caps. What is water cycle? Water cycle is the process by which the water moves between Earth's surface and atmosphere. Through this cycle, the atmospheric water is distributed all over the places on Earth which benefited the plants and animals. How does the water cycle occur? There are five processes occurring in water cycle. Those are evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Let us explain each process of water cycle. Process 1. The water is rising up. During the day, the heat coming from the sun is warming the earth's surface which consists of the bodies of water and the land. Evaporation The water from the oceans, rivers, lakes, falls, and swamps become gas or water vapor because heat can make the particles of water vibrate and separate from each other, making the particles lighter and rise into the atmosphere. This change in phase from liquid to gas is evaporation. In addition, the sun also heats up the ice on the mountain glaciers. The ice that turned into liquid evaporates into the atmosphere. Transpiration 90% of water vapor in the atmosphere on land comes from plants through transpiration. The transpiration is the process in which the water absorbed by the roots of plants comes out from the tiny openings stomata of the leaves and moves into the atmosphere. Overall, about 86% of the atmospheric water vapor is from the ocean and the remaining 14% is from the plants via transpiration. Process 2. The water vapor is combining together. Since the atmosphere has a very cold temperature, the particles of water vapor combine together and become tiny droplets of water. This process of the gas turning into liquid is condensation. As a result, the clouds are formed. Process 3. The water is falling. When the clouds are heavy enough, the water inside it falls on the bodies of water, such as oceans, rivers, lakes, falls, and swamps, and land in the form of rain and snow. This is what we call precipitation. The precipitation is the product of condensation that falls into the ground. The other types of precipitation are freezing rain, sleet, and hail. Process 4. Gathering the water. Most rain and snow, which are the common precipitation, fall back into the ocean, while some precipitation falls on the land. The precipitation that falls on the land enters the soil and moves underground. 
This will add to the groundwater, which is known as drinking water. The underground water continuously flow towards the ocean or other bodies of water wherein another water cycle begins. This process of gathering the water together from precipitation is collection. Let us sum up. Process 1. The water is rising up. In this process, evaporation and transpiration are occurring. Evaporation is the process in which the water turns into water vapor. Transpiration, on the other hand, is the process in which the water inside the plants escapes from stomata. Process 2. The water vapor is combining together. In this process, the condensation is happening. Condensation is the process in which the water vapor combine together to form tiny droplets of water. Process 3. The water is falling. In this process, the precipitation is coming down. Precipitation is the product of condensation, which are commonly rain and snow, that falls into the ground. Lastly, process 4, gathering the water. In this process, the collection is taking place. Collection is the process of gathering the water together from precipitation.